Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center, and um, today I want to discuss uh, epilepsy, seizure disorders, and its relationship to the spine, specifically the neck, and chiropractic. Uh, I'm an upper cervical chiropractor, and we've been able to help lots of patients with a wide range of seizure disorders. Now, there's four primary uh, so-called seizure titles or seizure uh, types of seizures, I guess. So the most familiar is the grand mal seizure, uh, where people have spastic uh, electrical shocking sensations through the whole body. They usually loosely use consciousness. Uh, if you've ever been around someone having a seizure, they want you to make sure they don't bite their tongue. And all you can do is really keep them calm until the seizure works its way out. Uh, those are can be devastating and if they last long enough can actually cause brain damage. Uh, then there's the petite mal seizure, uh, which is kind of when somebody just kind of zones out. They just kind of like aren't there uh, for a period of time. Um, you have the uh, myoclonic seizures, which is where people have like twitching or they have certain movements in just a small segment of the body, but they're still uh, fully conscious, but it's something that kind of just keeps reoccurring. Uh, and then you have drop attacks, uh, which is where basically the person just kind of just, just all of a sudden just freaking zones out, just drops and they're out of it. And then it's usually only a second or two and then they wake up and they come back. Now, if you look under uh, WebMD or a classification of what is epilepsy, uh, it's basically a disorder in the brain of, uh, of the overexcitation of brain cells. Uh, the, the, it's an electrical disorder, which um, they're trying to treat. Typical treatment for seizure disorders and epilepsy are medications which means they're trying to use chemicals to treat an electrical disorder, uh, which is why uh, most uh, epilepsy medications are not real, real successful. They use, often start with one medication, the body adapts to it, then they take another medication, sometimes they pile on. Uh, I've had patients come in taking as many as four different anticonvulsant medications. And if you read the side effects on some of those medications actually can produce seizure disorder. So what we have found is it's an electrical disorder, uh, which makes sense because the entire nerve system is one big electrical circuit. Uh, and what happens is we have found that at the top of the neck um, is the brainstem comes out of your head down through the top of the neck and then a spinal cord the rest of the way down. And it's all electrical energy that travels from your brain to your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, your arms, your legs. It's all electrical energy that controls every function in your body. So if a misalignment gets out of the line here, what it'll do is it'll actually create resistance in the electrical energy between the brain and the body. And so that resistance can actually build up in the brain. Okay, so that electrical energy, if it can't get through unimpeded to the body, then if it's built up long enough, then eventually what happens is it can short circuit in the brain. So that's why we use wires to explain how the energy travels from the brain to the body. And if one of the bones up here is out of the line and creating pressure at the top of the neck in the brainstem area, then that electrical energy builds up to the point to where it goes to a part of the brain and it just short circuits and you have this electrical energy that shoots through the body uh, in the event of a grand mal. Uh, it can be in a different part of the brain that can cause you to kind of zone out. It could be in another part of the brain that can actually cause you to just, just fall, right? Just drop, drop attack. So what we have found in uh, almost 100% of our seizure disorder epileptic patients is a bone out of the line at the top of the neck that is create, interfering with the electrical energy from the brain to the body. As that electrical energy builds up, it can eventually get to the point to where it's short circuits. We've had people come in and have having as many as 50, 60, 70 grand mal seizures in a day, per day. I've had them seizures in the in the waiting room, in the x-ray room, okay? But then once they come in and if we can find the impediment, find where that electrical resistance is going and we can open it up, now the electrical energy leaves the brain, 
travels to the body unimpeded. There's no buildup. There's no resistance that creates that electrical overload that can short circuit the body. So then the body starts to function normal and the seizures start to stop can be totally eliminated without the use of medication. I can't tell you how many, especially children, I've had as little as uh, one-year-olds having 40, 50, 60 seizures a day on three different medications, now medication-free, seizure-free, living a perfectly normal life. If you know someone that takes these anticonvulsants, you know that they are uh, mind-altering, right? I mean, they have to be in order to stop what's going on in the brain. So. So if you have seizure disorders, or if you have a child or a family member, or even a friend, please share this video with them. Please get them into an upper cervical doctor. Let's check and see if there's a problem at the top of their neck that's creating their seizure problems. If so, we can change their life by removing the pressure, releasing the electrical energy as it's supposed to be, and allow their body to function the way it's intended the way God designed it, and that is seizure-free. If you live in the Charlotte area, we're the upper cervical doctor for you. We're on Arrowwood Road. We're easily accessible to 45, 77, 85. Uh, if you live in Rock Hill, Fort Mill, South Carolina, we're the upper cervical doctor. Lake Norman, Lake Wiley, Mint Hill, Pineville, Matthews, we're the upper cervical doctor for you. Give our office a call. We never charge for the initial consultation just to see if you might have an upper cervical problem that could be creating your, your health concerns. If so, we'll explain you what we need to do. And we'll go ahead and we'll take some specific x-rays to analyze what's going on at the top of your neck so we know exactly what the problem is and exactly how to correct it. We never charge for that uh, initial, just the consultation. Call our office at 704-588-5560. Uh, talk to Cynthia, Susanna, let them set you up for an appointment to come in and let's see if we can get to the bottom of your seizure disorder. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, do yourself a favor, go online, find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you can't, call our office. We'll be happy to try to find the closest one for you. Hope you have a great afternoon and I hope this video helps you. Have a great day.